break it down into four quick quads here. Okay. Uh, one is the, all the work that we're doing with the uh, the consolidation efforts on the uh, on the infrastructure uh, with the department, moving out of the DOJ data centers into the DHS data centers, and that is a a huge lift, as you can imagine. Um, <clears throat> Well, I thought that that group's uh, plate was full. We decided to go ahead and move our financial system down there on the same year. So that's a, mm -hmm. another challenge that uh, was unexpected, but um, we're stepping up to a lot of work going on in the ID management area with HSPD 12 and single sign on the PMO that's being stood up at the department and working with the department closely on, on sort of the next gen of governance, demand management, the stuff that Richard talked about. I talked about one of our challenges was with uh, sort of the human capital, and we're doing a lot of work in that area to train the workforce up, continue to hire the workforce, and start to implement a process improvement strategy within our organization to really start to, to ring the efficiencies out and, and, and work towards this, uh, this smart buyer type of uh, environment we're getting ourselves into. Some internal sort of infrastructure um, projects that are underway in our Atlas area with uh, building out our, our, our plumbing in our, um, our uh, remote offices across the country. There's a big co-location activity underway with ICE uh, between uh, our, our detention facilities and our uh, enforcement facilities and trying to combine those out in the field. And we're working very closely with the department, with CBP and some of the other components on a, a longer term TACCOM strategy. I think mm -hmm. there's a lot of opportunity. Right. We really feel um, some of the technology that's going on in the, uh, in the telecommunications area with LTE and 4G, and there's a lot of opportunities there. And we want to do some deep thinking. We're, we're looking to, to partner with the um, vendor community on this and really look at some of the, the next gen capabilities out there and, and make that a more sustainable model. IT systems, we have a lot of business systems. I uh, should have said one of our other demands, although I, I keep trying to push towards uh, a quicker time to market, I think we've done a pretty good job there and we've got a lot of fantastic people that are very focused on putting product on the ground. And what that means is we've got a lot of customers coming to us with wheelbarrows saying more and more and more. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is a challenge for us, quite frankly. It's just trying to scale uh, while we try to mature the organization and, and turn those things around time to market. Uh, we just released our case management solicitation out there. Uh, we're working very uh, closely with many of you on secure communities, different modules uh, for different parts of that solution. Um, and we have DROM out there right now, and we're actually looking at some of the modules within DROM. Uh, because of the detention reform right. and the new policies, right. we may have to do some adjusting. DROM was built, designed, architected towards a previous policy. As that policy starts to adjust, we need to make some adjustments, which, by the way, is why we modulize these things so right. that we can slow something down, start something up. We're not in the middle of caught in the middle of building a battleship that we no longer need type thing. So I think that's been to our advantage. And innovation. We're trying to incubate some of these ideas. We were just out west a couple of times recently with our, uh, our chief architect and our chief design folks looking at some of the technology, emerging technology, a lot of it in the mobile area, right. as you can imagine, um, trying to work through that. A lot of the stuff that we're delivering now has a huge mobile requirement, and we, we know there's a lot of opportunity in those areas, and we need to uh, continue to look at not only the mobile capability and sort of the form factor type stuff, mm -hmm. but also some of just the interfaces, you know, right. some of this emerging technology that's going on with you know, interacting with a system and w with no touch at all, no mouse, and just sort of a, you know, sort of this um, almost sure. an avatar type thing is really <laughs> right. what we're looking at. 